Hey guys, what is up? Tim here, and today I have my top five Mac applications of all time. Now, this is going to be graded on a scale uh, from five to one, obviously. Five being uh, the least of my favorite, but still being pretty awesome because it is still in the top five, and one being the absolute my favorite uh, Mac application of all time. Um, now, obviously, they're going to be, if like, if the app is a utility, for instance, or it's going to be graded on its usefulness. If it's, it's a game, it's going to be graded on the overall amount of fun. Um, it's going to be graded in its niche, and um, I'll show you what I mean as I get further on to it. But uh, before we get too far, let's roll the intro. So the first app we're going to be talking about is Text Expander, which is number five in our list of top five Mac applications. A Text Expander is a utility that can save you large amounts of time in your daily Mac use. Um, it is probably one of the most useful apps on this countdown list, and like I said before, it saves you tons and tons of time. Um, basically, what it is is you can basically bind words to phrases. So what I mean by that is you can type in, you can bind the word Shippy to address. So if you wanted to type in your address, you would type in the word shippy and it'll type in your address now within the app i'm sure i should be on screen right now but within the app you can edit all kinds of things you can make it say whatever you want i have t time is time you can set codes like if i did do percentage one uh, l dot dot percentage m uh, percentage p that me that is a code for time so if you wanted to type in the time, you just press T time, it'll enter that code, find the resources in your computer, then type the time onto the screen. It's very, very cool, very, very useful, and it's really up to date with the technology, and it just really uses um, codes and all kinds of stuff to its fullest advantage. I really like what Text Expander did. Now this app will retail you for $30, and you can find it in the Mac App Store or from Text Expander's website. I'll provide a link in the description to all the links to all the apps. Now let's move on to number four on our list. So number four on our list is called Daisy Disk, and Daisy Disk is another pre is another utility for the Mac, obviously, um, that is in the thirty to forty dollar price range. Now obviously you can get Daisy Disk in the Mac App Store, I think, and also you can get it from Daisy Disk website, which I which I said uh, before it will be in the description below. Um, it's just a very cool user interface um, based application, um, which obviously, as you can see on screen right now, looks very very nice. And it also is very functional. With the click of a mouse, you can download, I mean, you can delete files up to like 200 gigabytes. Any, I mean, the sky's the limit. Um, it downloads it, I mean, it deletes it instantly, and it's just really, really nice. And it even has a feature to share what you deleted onto Facebook. Uh, it's just a really good tool for cleaning up your Mac. And if, you're real, if your Mac is really cluttered with useless things, then this is one of the best ways to do it. Because it'll show you what you use a lot, what you don't use a lot, and it'll show you easy ways to delete them or uninstall them. So that's why Daisy This is number four on the countdown. Number three in our countdown list is Steam. Now Steam is a very new addition to the Mac, and obviously Steam was PC-based software, but it just recently was ported over to the Mac, um, and, and I think late last or early last year. Um, Steam, if you don't know, is uh, basically where you can download PC gaming application or PC gaming games and keep track of everything. It's like PlayStation Network or Xbox Live, but for your computer. It's a really, really nice application. Uh, you don't actually have to physically buy anything from the store for PC gaming anymore. Because Steam solves that by just hitting the download button. Now Steam isn't cheap, which is the problem with, that I have with Steam, but still it's better than in-store prices. Games that you might get in-store, uh, like let's say you wanted Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike in stores cost I think $30, um, but I don't think you can even buy it anymore. But on Steam, for instance, it would cost $20. If you wanted to buy Call of Duty in-store, it's $60, and if you wanted to buy it on Steam, $50. It's a great deal, very efficient, and it only takes up space in your hard drive. And that is why Steam is number three on our countdown of top five best Mac applications. The number two best Mac application of all time is ScreenFlow 3. Now, ScreenFlow 3 is what I'm using to record this video. It captures your screen and provides a very basic, easy to use, and just fun overall user interface editing software that you can pretty much the best on the market um, for beginners. Um, ScreenFlow has gotten many YouTube channels started. It is a basis for most uh, screen recording, screen recordings on YouTube, and pretty much every Mac YouTuber on YouTube uses ScreenFlow. Um, 
to capture their song, to capture their footage, obviously. Big name YouTubers like Soldier Knows Best, Ty's iPhone Help, like huge guys that they, they, they wouldn't even talk about it, but they're using ScreenFlow. That's, ScreenFlow and Camtasia are the two premier capturing softwares. In my opinion, ScreenFlow is far ahead of Camtasia just because of its cleanliness, easy to use interface, and just overall it works. ScreenFlow 3 is probably one of my favorite applications of all time for any platform, um, let alone a Mac. And for $99, it is quite the steal. Um, and yeah, if, and even if you have ScreenFlow 2, you can upgrade to ScreenFlow 3 for $39. I'm not sure if it's completely worth it because ScreenFlow 3 doesn't add too much more to the table. But still, if you're really serious about video editing or having screen capturing, then you might want to upgrade to ScreenFlow 3. And that is why ScreenFlow 3 is number two in my countdown of top five Mac applications of all time. And the number one Mac application of all time isn't even an application at all. It's a suite, a creative suite. <laughs> now, if you guys have guessed by now, it is Adobe's Creative Suite Master Collection CS5. This has everything you're gonna need for creative software. It's got everything from Photoshop to fireworks to Flash to web design, everything you need in a design studio, you have it here in Master Collection CS5. You can publish web articles, you can create logos, you can do intros, you can do video editing, you can edit sound, you can produce sound. Everything you need is in Master Collection CS5. Now the only issue with this is it's over a thousand dollars. Now I know that sounds really pricey, but if you're really, really into the design and studios, this is a must, must have. I know many professional creator, creators of all kinds of things, everything from sound to music, to photos, and they all use Adobe's products. Adobe produces the most high powered products in the world with a very easy to use user interface throughout the entire board. Um, their software is very very well organized within each other, um, very easy to use. Once you get the hang of it, it's just, just second nature. Um, I've learned how to use Photoshop over the past month and it is probably one of the most fun softwares I've learned to use. I'm starting to lose, use Adobe After Effects and Bridge um, and I hope to start, to start to learn Premiere Pro really, really soon. Um, professionals use these, professional movie makers use these, and coupled with Cinema 4D, um, it is an unstoppable um, just force of applications with After Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro. Um, Adobe makes some of the best software in the world, and that is why they are number one on my top five Mac applications of all time. Now, thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. This has been Tim. And I'm out. Peace.